What is the creepiest glitch you've experienced in real life? When my mom called to tell me that my grandpa died. I thought she said papa died and papa is the nickname for my dad. I was crying uncontrollably and when I finally figured out it was grandpa I was too embarrassed to admit that I thought it was my dad. I called him later and told him and he just laughed. Anyway fast forward 3 weeks and my dad dies too. Part of me thinks mishearing her was the universe preparing me to lose him. It was weird because it was like I lost him twice and I'm still kind of waiting for someone to tell me it was all a mistake and it was actually someone else. Edit. I feel kinda bad because I've barely thought about grandpa since my dad died. My grandma has it the worst because she lost her husband and a son in the same month. Was taking the train home one afternoon and an old man was sitting a row ahead of me. He turned around and asked for directions to the hospital. And I told him which stop to get off at. Eventually, his stop arrives and he gets up to leave. But before he exits he turned and said thank you. I'll see you later. I said yeah no problem. And again he said I'll see you later and he looked me right in the eye. I said sure. See ya and he got off the train and hobbled away with his cane. Thought it was a little weird he was adamant about seeing me around but whatever. Freaky thing is, when I got off the train into the bus station, about 5 minutes after boarding my bus I hear a voice that sounds like the old man. I looked out the bus window and sure enough, he was there at the bus station. Same clothes, hat, and cane. I know it was the same guy, but with his walking speed and the available bus train routes at the time I have zero clue how he got to the bus station right when I did. There are no buses near the hospital that go to that bus station. And my train was the only train that had just arrived at the bus station. Every time I just randomly think about the movie Groundhog Day I see it everywhere. People mention it to me. It's on the TV. Radio. I can't escape it. I had a dream about a co-worker. She loved dogs and would always ask me to share pictures of my GSD in Labrador whenever we'd talk at work. In the dream she was on a couch crying. My Labrador is a very emotional connected dog. She goes to anyone she thinks is sad. Which is exactly what she did in the dream. My co-worker looked at me and said. Thank you for sharing her. I feel better about all of this now. I found out at work the next day that my co-worker had tripped at the top of her stairs and died that night. The dream still freaks me out when I think about it. It was so vivid and clear. In 6th grade I called my mom to let her know my dad was about to head her way to drop my little sister and I off. Divorced parents. When she answered I said. A simmer and my mom frantically asked. Oh Sai, my name, is that you? I said oh Sai eyes. He asked where I was. I said oh Sidity's house. We're about to come home now. Just wanted to let you know. Love you mama. She asked me. A Sihos daddy, where are you? Are you okay? Obviously I was confused and just answered. A cinema. I'm fine. I'm okay. I love you. I'll see you soon. She said she loved me too. Tried to get me to stay on the phone and I just hung up. My dad later got a call and visit from the police. As it turns out I'd accidentally dialed the number of a woman whose daughter had the same name as me and had gone missing. Everything was cleared up very quickly but I always thought it wasn't a mistake that I dialed the wrong number. Maybe it was that woman's daughter saying goodbye. I had a dream an old friend, who I hadn't spoken to or seen around or anything in about 2 years, died and I went to his funeral. I woke up and thought whoa, that's weird and went to check his Facebook to see what he was up to. He had gone missing a few days previous, but his body wasn't found until over a year later. Sometimes when I dream, and I wake up, I wake up, I know it's a dream. I just know it's a dream, but I can't wake up, and the harder I try to wake up, all the more I realize I have to wake up, the scarier it gets, even though nothing really changes, it feels like a darkness enveloping you as you try and wake up from your fake room. How do I know it's a fake room? Just some weird details, like how my wall looks a little too white, or the Christmas tree's lights are on when they're up so to be off. Don't ask why I have one in my room and not the living room lol. So then I go through like maybe 1-2 minutes of intense waking up. Falling back asleep. Trying to open my eyes. But then falling back asleep right after. As I said, the rooms are similar but not too similar. So I can just about tell when I'm in the real world and when I'm dreaming. 
or perhaps both rooms are fake. And when I finally wake up, it's the real me in the real world. I dunno. Those are the scariest of dreams. Even though they last for a few minutes tops because that's right before I'm about to wake up. One night my dad was tucking me in when I was 8 years old. He said goodnight and I replied goodbye. He asked me why I said bye and we laughed it off. It was just an accident. The next morning my brother found him passed in the living room. He had a heart attack in the middle of the night at the age of 48. I was having these really vivid dreams. Each dream picked up where the last night's dream ended. These dreams were so surreal. I told my parents about them. I wish I had written them down in a dream journal and dated them. Weeks later, I was at a concert and started getting deja vu. It was my dreams happening in front of my eyes. I turned to my friend and said I've been here before man. Seriously. In like 5-10 minutes a girl with blonde hair will come by us crying because she lost her friends in the crowd. I will calm her down. Let her hang with us until she feels better. Then she will go on her way. 5 minutes later. That exact thing happened. She looked exactly like my dreams. The words I spoke were exactly from my dreams. She stayed for a few minutes. Calmed down and stopped crying. Then moved on into the crowd and disappeared. Afterwards. My friend. Who witnessed the entire event was too freaked out by this premonition and asked if we could leave the show early. I still get deja vu every few days. But I've never predicted something successfully again. I'm not sure I believe in special powers. But that event has changed my entire outlook on life. I think there is a glitch in my dream program that lets me see the future. When I was a little kid, like around 6-7, my family got a pet hamster gerbil whatever. I remember the first day we got him I played with him, went upstairs for bed, fell asleep, woke up, came back downstairs, and he was dead. I was really sad that the pet we had just gotten was dead, and my parents informed me we had him for a year before he died. I literally have no recollection of that entire year. I just get a hamster, fall asleep, miss a year of my life, wake up, hamster's dead. It's trippy thinking about it now. While this may not seem creepy, I can tell you the experience most definitely was creepy. This happened when I was 8 and working in the yard with my mom. My mother and I were doing the spring planting in the flower beds around the house. I went inside for a pee break and on my way to the bathroom I had to walk through the living room. I entered the LR through the kitchen, looked up and on the other side of the LR, I saw sitting on the couch none other than my sister. She was wearing her school uniform and was looking towards me, but not at me, never said a word, nothing really unusual, right? What makes this a glitch? My sister was hundreds of miles away at boarding school, not helping us plant flowers and certainly not sitting at the edge of the couch giving me a blank stare. My little 8 year old self reversed course and locked himself in the half bath until he regained the courage to go back through the house and finish planting hostas. When I was little. My family was at my grandparents place. They had a pool in the back. And as kids were swimming while our parents ate on the porch. Capital I. Being a devious 8 year old. Decided to swim into the deep end where I was not yet allowed. Being cocky and overconfident about my ability to swim. I dove down and touched the bottom of the pool. I stayed down there for a moment before I felt I needed air. I started to swim up. But I realized that I needed air a lot more urgently than I had previously thought. I felt my lungs burning. And thought to myself that I needed air now. Still another foot and a half underwater. I took a breath. Weirdly enough. It felt as though I had breathed in air. I broke the surface and tried to cough out whatever water would be in my lungs. But there was nothing. I didn't find it very odd at the time. But now I think about it often. Edit. Now I know why everyone says RIP to their inbox. Thanks everyone for my most liked comment so far. Lost my keys while over at a friend's house and was using a spare for almost a week. Found them sitting in the driver's seat when it was parked at my own place. Miles away from where I lost them. I was walking outside at 2am. Looking at my phone and listening to music with my headphones. I was completely zoned out. I was about to cross a street and briefly glanced if there was a car coming. I looked the wrong way, and if the light was green or not. 
right as I am in the middle of the road a car is basically a meter away from me and the last thing I see are the blinding headlights right below my knees and the horn blaring through my music. A fraction of a second passes and I almost fall off my feet because I was expecting the impact and bracing for it. I open my eyes and see myself good 10 feet away from the edge of the road. The song had changed. The light for the cars is green and I see the red tail lights of a lone car driving down along the road. My heart is pounding out of my chest and I had to sit down for a while. I get home and start reading about near-death experiences and I stumble on an idea called quantum immortality. Not sure if it messed me up even more. But the idea is that if you die in one parallel universe your consciousness still continues in the ones where you live. I was more heartbroken about the thought of my mother having to bury me in my original universe than I was about my own death. Once when I was about 14ish I got up to get ready to go to school as always. Our bathroom sink and mirror was next to the door and as I was brushing my teeth I saw and heard my 4 year old sister run past the bathroom through the mirror. Now mind you. There's no other way back to her room since we only had one hallway leading to all the bedrooms and it was past the bathroom. I went to the living room, kitchen and dining room to find her to send her back to bed and I couldn't find her anywhere. I went to check in her room to see if she snuck past me and she was in a deep sleep so I knew it wasn't her immediately. I told my mom about this when she got up and she just said you saw that little girl too? Freaked her me the hell out. Never saw her again thankfully. Nothing nearly as creepy as some of the other ones but I was at Burger King and I was playing in their little playground area. You know the ones with all the tunnels. Stairs. IDK if it's the right term but anyway. I distinctly remember going in circles in this one tunnel for like 4 or 5 rounds until I stopped and thought wait. Why am I going in circles? And then I continued and realized that the tunnel didn't go in circles but it lead up. Thing is. Less than a minute ago I was going around and around in the same tunnel. Over and over again. So I retraced my steps. Went through the tunnel again. And arrived at the top once more. It was like a time loop that broke. Maybe I was just young and wasn't paying attention and was just exiting the tunnel and just going back in or I was an idiot kid. But this really scared me as a 9 year old. Once. Me and my friend bought this toy from my room where I kept old toys. It was like a Furby, but kinda bad and not useful or fun at all. It just said random stuff after oscillating to your request. So, we took the not Furby and make a Charlie Charlie game thing. With like the pencils and the no yes. So, we ask the Furby if Charlie Charlie was there. And, the pencils don't move. But the not Furby, it started glitching out and making strange noises. Me and my friends ran and called for my dad crying. My dad took the not Furby and said we needed to change the batteries. There was no batteries in the toy, though. It was empty. I couldn't sleep for a while. From 6th to 8th I had felt like my world just repeated itself because I remember talking about something a few weeks ago then I relived the same experience and the scariest thing was I knew it was coming and when I realized it I had a frozen moment of thought. Back in the mid 1990s I had a dream that I went to visit my cousin. We live in different states, and her family was sad because someone close to their family had died. It bothered me enough that I mentioned it to my wife. My wife said that I should email my cousin and ask her if everyone is okay. I sent off an email asking if everyone is okay because I had this dream. Explaining the dream. But I am probably just being silly. She emails me back the next day and says no I am not being silly. An uncle of her husband's had died recently and that they were very close to him. A few years ago, my wife and I were riding in a car with my parents. We were all just chatting. And my dad kept periodically drumming on the steering wheel and humming the opening bars to Dan Under by Men at Work. This happened a few times over a span of 10 minutes or so. And finally my mom asked him what song is that? Dad replied by singing the chorus, and we all laughed. A few minutes later, he reached over to turn on the radio and I had this weird feeling we were going to hear down under. I said something like I guarantee that song is going to be playing. No idea why I felt so strongly about this. But sure enough, it was playing on the second station that my dad tried. He couldn't believe it. Unfortunately, I've never been able to replicate this. But I felt like a wizard for a few days. Every time I learn a new word that I've never previously seen. 
It will randomly start popping up in places like a book or a reddit comment. When my dog was younger, he was a destroyer. So he always had only one toy and I bought another one once this was broken beyond repair. I also make a point in buying distinctly memorable toys so every time he loses it a neighbor can recognize it and it is brought back to us. This time it was the form of a lighthouse. My dad took the dog hiking. I put the dog in the car. Threw his toy in with him. And off they went. After they came back. My sister. Mom. And I played with the dog. We made him fetch his toy. Throwing it between us. The whole thing. A day later. My dad came by and gave me his toy. He said he just found it under the car seat. Where it must have dropped. I checked. And no toy was at our home. I also asked my mom and sister if they bought another one. They had not. There is also no way it could have gone back into the car since my dad is the only one using it. I still don't know what we played with that day. TLDR. Played with dog toy that wasn't physically with us. Mid 30 here. I was 27 or about that. Lost my job. In a itty apt. With my gf. I had weird feedback on the subtitles on my tv. Kind of responding to what I said earlier in the day and whatnot. Even my gf saw it too and didn't understand a thing. I could talk aloud and the person in the tv would respond to it or acted like I told him. Searched everywhere for a camera. Microphone or anything related never found any. While I searched subtitles would go like. Are you searching for a camera behind this for real? That was creepy and dark. Couldn't care less if you think I was paranoid though. P but then. My gf would have been in the same boat as me. Anyway moved. And it was all gone thankfully. I had a really good friend throughout high school and a few years after high school. We played football together. Worked out together and even worked together for a while. We fell out of touch when he started getting involved in drugs and other stuff I wasn't interested in. Fast forward about 3 years and I have a dream. I'm back in my high school weight room working out and my buddy is there. I say hi and we are catching up just talking and having a good time. This goes on for a bit and then he tells me he has to go. I ask him to stay longer because I miss him and want to keep talking. He says. I'm sorry. I can't. I have to go now. I'll see you later. And he left. I was then woken up to the sound of my phone ringing and it was my mom. I answer it and she asks if I had heard what happened. I asked what she was talking about and she told me that my buddy had died last night. I was in shock. Apparently my mom heard from his mom that morning and the first thing she did was call me. He had overdosed on drugs at his parents house. About 5 minutes from where I was living. And it likely happened while I was asleep. I like to tell myself that he was just stopping by to say goodbye to me and give me some closure since we hadn't spoken since our falling out. He was the first real close friend that I lost. Unfortunately he wasn't the last. I am very good at chess and have no memory of ever learning how to play it. I remember learning every single game I know how to play. From Monopoly to Backgammon. But chess I just know how to play it. And I never remember being bad at it and practicing. It's like I started out good. And I'm not even a fan of it. I was at my grandmother's house and she has this rug by the fireplace. My dad was standing there and started to kick it about to try and straighten it out. Seemingly by instinct I said. Why are you always kicking rugs about? I got puzzled looks from everyone. You see. At that moment I had a distinct memory of him doing it only very recently before. It felt like hours ago not days or weeks or whatever. I can even see the rug that he was kicking before. Blue with white squares and circles on. But for the life of me I can't remember where or when it happened. I even asked my mother and she hasn't got a clue. It's like I've generated a false. Random memory but it felt. Feels. So real. I'm not even the confronting type so it was unusual just saying something about it but it was so compelling. Not sure if this is a glitch or what but it kind of freaked me out. It sounds so innocent but the idea that I might not be able to trust my memory is terrifying. I can't describe how real it felt but I also know that it never happened. At least not in the way I remember. This is kinda mild. I grew up in this town. And know that where I've built my current house. Used to be a farm for cattle. It's now a housing development. Just after I moved in. A week. Maybe two. I had gotten up to use the toilet. At this stage. There were no fences. 
The lots around me were all empty and aside from the infrastructure, it was still pretty much paddock. As I'm hanging a leak, I am looking out the window and see a shadow cast in the moon. The sound of a cowbell rings impossibly loud in my ear and then a moo could be heard in the distance. Oh I think I'm haunted by a damn cow. Guess I'll deal with it like all my hauntings. Stand naked in my doorway. Backlit by my computer monitor and flex while telling them to duck off. Works every time. When I was 13 years old I had a 13 gallon fish tank on a shelf from my wall. My father had recently passed away and the last thing we did together was set it up. He got me red tip type sharks to put in it since sharks were my favorite animal. Well, sometime shortly after he died I wake up one morning and there isn't a drop of moisture in the tank. I move the rocks and plants around. There was about an inch high amount and no sign water was ever in it. The fish died of course but I cleaned that fish thank plenty of times and it took days to dry out. Still don't understand how that's possible with no signs of water anywhere. My father was in the hospital for surgery and had to stay there overnight. But when I tried to fall asleep I heard him inside of the house. Being the stupidly curious person I am. I went to go investigate and there he was. Walking around with a confused expression on his face. When I asked him why he wasn't at the hospital. He replied with oh I don't know. I just fell asleep and here I am. After that, he just kinda walked away and out the front door, which was strange to watch. When I went to visit him the next day, he told me he had a strange dream where he was at our house but only I seemed to see him. Probably one of the creepiest moments of my life. I think I was about 19. Hopped in this girl's car I was dating at the time and I started singing a song. She started her car and the song was on the radio at the part I was singing. It kinda freaked her out. This happened to my sisters and I. We were making a target run before my middle sister a bachelorette weekend, which was 40 minutes away, and the target we went to was in an outdoor mall. We got the stuff back to the car and decided to go to Nordstrom's to look at some makeup. When we returned to the car, we couldn't find the car keys in my oldest sister's purse. Wouldn't even call it a purse. More like a clutch with like 3 pockets. She dumped everything out and put it back in. I dumped everything out and put it back in. My middle sister and sister-in-law did the same. We looked around the car, around Target, and Nordstrom's and no keys were to be found. My middle sister, freaking out because we were already late for her party, Ubers back to her house to get her car. Meanwhile a technician comes out to make a copy of the key using the lock so we can at least get our stuff out of it. My brother-in-law comes to drive it home once the spare is made and we go on our way in my middle sister's car. Fast forward through the bachelorette weekend and we are all home my oldest sister calls all of us and says the key was in my purse. The whole duckine time I'm like there's no way because we all checked your purse. She was transferring her stuff into her bigger everyday purse and stopped dead in her tracks. Took a picture and called us. Definitely a glitch but in our family. We say everything happens for a reason and there was a reason we weren't supposed to be on the road just then. We could have been in a bad accident or something. IDK. Something the four of us who were there can't explain at all.